Hi there, I'm Jamie Dyer. If I want to measure my height, I'll use a measuring stick. But this cool device, it measures things using light. It's called a spectrophotometer. It measures the intensity of light of different wavelengths in the visible spectrum. Spectrophotometers can be used to do lots of different things. Let me give you one example. In this 2017 paper, scientists characterized a strain of bacteria that can do bioremediation, which is when living organisms are used to break down or remove toxic chemicals in the environment. It's a way to use living things to clean up pollution. In this paper, the scientists identified a type of bacteria that can do bioremediation of a toxic weed-killing herbicide called quinclorac. It's used to kill weeds in rice fields and lawns, but it's toxic to many types of crops, and it's slow to break down in the environment. The scientists isolated a strain of bacteria from a field that was contaminated with high levels of quinclorac, but they needed to show that as the bacteria grow, the bacteria actually degrade the toxic chemical. To do that, the scientists showed that in the lab over several days, the bacteria grew in number, and higher numbers of bacteria correlated with higher degradation of quinclorac. How they measured bacterial growth was with a spectrophotometer. I have here two glasses of Kool-Aid. One of them's more concentrated than the other. Can you tell which one? This one. It's darker. What you just did with your eyes is essentially what the spectrophotometer does. When you looked at the glasses, the Kool-Aid particles in the darker glass absorbed more light. That's why it looked darker. Spectrophotometers do a similar thing. They shine light through a sample and measure how much light goes through. When a sample has more light-absorbing particles, less light goes through the sample, which the spectrophotometer reads out as absorbance. But there's one thing that makes a spectrophotometer a little more complicated than just you looking through a glass of Kool-Aid. Spectrophotometers don't use plain old light, they use specific wavelengths of light. White light is composed of all the colors of the rainbow, which can be separated by a prism. Each color is a specific wavelength of light. By using specific wavelengths of light, the spectrophotometer is more accurate when measuring the absorbance of a sample. The scientists were able to measure the growth of the bacteria using a spectrophotometer because more bacteria cells in the liquid meant higher absorbance. So using the spectrophotometer was a quick and easy way to measure how many bacteria were in the culture. You need to use a specific wavelength of light that depends on what your sample is. Make sure the spectrophotometer is set to that wavelength. Failing to set the spectrophotometer to the correct wavelength will give you an absorbance value what? that is totally meaningless. Uh, absorbance is never negative. If you get a negative number, something went wrong, so you should start over. Almost everything absorbs a little bit of light, so if what you want to measure is the absorbance of bacteria, then you don't want to include in your measurement the absorbance of the media they're growing in. To avoid doing that, before you measure your sample, you must set the blank. Your blank is a cuvette with the same kind of liquid that your sample is in, but without the sample in it. If you forget to set the blank, or if your blank is a different kind of liquid than what your sample is in, you will what? get an absorbance value that's totally meaningless. Make sure you set the blank using the same kind of liquid that the sample is in. So let's say you have multiple samples that are in the same kind of liquid that you're measuring with the same wavelength. You only have to set the blank once in the beginning. Measuring the sample is pretty easy. Pipette it into the cuvette, insert the cuvette into the spectrophotometer, and close the lid. Note that the cuvette is designed for light waves to pass through it in a specific direction. Make sure you orient it in the spectrophotometer so that the light beam goes through it the right way. Don't touch the part of the cuvette that the light goes through, because your fingerprints can interfere with the absorbance reading. In fact, it's good practice to wipe the cuvette, just to make sure you remove any potential fingerprints or dust before putting it into the spectrophotometer. On many spectrophotometers, once you put the sample in, it will automatically display the absorbance without even needing to push a button. That's it. Now you know how to use a spectrophotometer. And maybe one day you'll be the one using a spectrophotometer to do research on bioremediation or something else really cool. <laughs>